Hello everyone, Thijs here again and this time with a little bit of a special video for you. We got some very exciting news for Hearthstone. The new expansion Rastakhan's Rumble just have been revealed. Rastakhan Rumble is going to be the new expansion for Hearthstone and the expansion will be a lot about trolls. It will be a lot about possible uh, weapons. There are going to be a lot of troll champions as legendary minions coming in the game as well. And uh, well probably some a lot more that we haven't seen yet. It just got announced at BlizzCon. We already have seen a little bit of the cards. We have seen 16 cards that are going to be revealed. There will also be a single player adventure mode in the Rumble Run. What will probably be very cool. And there is a new keyword as well. As uh, Overkill is going to become in the game. To tell you a little bit about what the old news is going to be about. Uh, there are going to be 135 new cards in the expansion. Laos the December 4. The Overkill is the new keyword. So Overkill is going to be... If you kill a minion or if you deal more damage than you need to do, so let's say you deal 3 damage in a 2 health minion, their overkill triggers. There will be an effect but you will either attack again or you get a bonus. That's what matters. Once you kill a minion and you have a, or you kill a bit more attack than health, you will get a bonus effect what is written on the overkill. Another thing what will be also in the team of uh, Rak uh, Rastakhan is going to be spirits. Spears are a type of a minion that each class will have. Everyone will get one of them, uh, but as a rare, so you can play it as a two of. And they get the first turn always stealth. We're gonna take a little bit of a view what I mean with that as well. But all these cards will have a stealth for one turn uh, once they come on the board. And for the rest, it is uh, free builds in class a legendary Loa class card, two spirits for your Loa class, and six scrubs. So there are also some extra inclusions as well into that looking a little bit more from here guys um every class will get a legendary m troll minion so all the troll minions every class will get one troll minion and it is based on the lore which one i know zuljin is there uh, a few more and they are all really based on w in which class they fit the best there are already uh some cards announced here actually the first card guys it is the tiger um it's an uh Legendary for the Paladin, a 25 mana card, so you're like, wait, what's going on here? Divine Shield, Rest, Lifesteal, cost one less for each spell you have spent. So it has the potential of becoming like a very cheap card, and that's of course the way it works. You, it has Divine Shield, Rest, and Lifesteal, so it's a great defensive tool. Still think that the card is kind of meh. Oh, here guys, let me reveal you some cards. <laughs> we got here a unique card reveal video. These were the first cards shown on the uh, already. Um, the Sultas is showing the overkill mechanic, so once you kill a minion with uh, the uh, Sultras, it can you can attack again. I think this card is actually very good as it can also, uh, it's a very, it has in total, it has 16 damage. It's 6 mana, 16 damage. I don't think necessary this is a great way to trade off minions, but with the potential that Warrior can buff this weapon, maybe you can make it work in a very aggressive Warrior. I can see, like this card just deals a lot of damage for the cost. Sharkfin Van, after your hero uh, summons a 1-1 Pirate, I think cards like this are always good. Um, two mana cards that are this flexible, that have a bonus effect. And if you play this in like a Rogue, you just coin the dagger, uh, or you 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 play this card, you attack with your dagger, and suddenly you already summon your first woman. So in a lot of uh, classes, I think mainly in Rogue it can be very good. And the Spirit of the Shark being the first stealth minion revealed, uh, your minion battle cries and combos trigger twice. And what we have also heard already a little bit during the talks at BlizzCon is that the, the expansion will vary a little bit be... Combo based between cards, not necessarily combo deck based, but very combo based between specific cards that can work very well together. Something I am very excited about, not just only stats, but also some very cool mechanics like stealth for one turn, your minions better cries and combos trigger twice. Like you can definitely make very cool things happening with playing cards like this. I'm not sure if the power level of this card is there yet. But definitely a, a very cool and an important fact to notice is this card is not a battle cry itself. So when you summon it out of the deck, it is still stealth for one turn. A very, very important fact. Think about Meat Wagon that can like summon zero attack minions on the board, but also other cards that have that potential with the recruit mechanic. So gonna be very cool. Um, also, uh, the Rumble Run, as we talked about already earlier a little bit, there will be a single player uh, kind of adventure mode going on. Uh, you are, you're going to choose a team. You can choose which of the trolls you want to join, I suppose. 
there are shrines that you can sh shrine into play special boon tied to your loa and you can also get a little uh, prize of it it seems like uh, pre-purchase is also there already there is a new uh, alternate sh skin for the shaman happening uh, so that is king rasta rastakan is gonna be the shaman skin so a new skin as well there and afterwards after the announcement at blizzard that are at blizzcon there was already a little bit more few guys and we got a little bit more of uh, the few what other cards are supposed to be so we have already seen a few let me highlight a little bit of these cannon barrage we got here for the rogue dealing three damage to uh, to random enemy repeated for pirates so maybe in some kind of a pirate deck uh, we got here the legendary mage card very cool concept of the card add a copy of your opening to your hand so you get a lot of like additional value it's kind of like an elise in my opinion where you open a pack and you get cards well here you you know what you're gonna open though i you better get a very good opening hand when then this card is definitely a nice value card new mage card within three mana three four when to starts when cards have this deadline guys it's always in consideration whenever your hero power kills a minion draw a card so very good maybe and turn five or afterwards where you can also draw cards from this um then we have the reign of toads summons three toads with taunt overload three so we got here kind of like a plague for the shaman but always three toads but kind of a big overload so maybe this says a bit of the power of spreading plague as well but uh well we got toads in uh also coming here in hearthstone and well shaman has their defensive tool if i compare this card to like a spirit uh like to the I'm not sure if this card will see much play. Baited arrow, deal three damage, and here is another card of with the overkill. So when you deal the three damage and you do it on a two health minion or a one health minion, then the effect goes off. Are you doing it on a three health minion? Then the overkill doesn't trigger. And definitely a big thing when the overkill is a summon five five devil sword. So. You definitely want to play this on a, a 1 or a 2 health minion. Kind of comparable to, to the Bane of Doom that we have uh, for the Warlock. Um, so, but a little bit more consistent and very good. We know how good Flanking Strike is. So definitely a considerable card. A cool card here. A 1 drop for the Hunter with a Rush mechanic. Very, can always be effective and adds another one to the hand. Druid got a good 2 drop with a deal damage to an enemy minion equal to your hero's attack. So it can work if you make like a Malfurion attack or anything like that. Because then uh, you have you have like a 2 drop but it's decent stat line and deals like damage to, towards something. And then guys, a very exciting card. Fort Contract. Destroyer. Half of each player's deck. What was uh, Thanos, right? Thanos did something similar. That is like kind of what I was thinking of when I saw this card. Destroy a half of each player's deck. Wow. So we got here an, uh, a very interesting card. So a big combo denier, of course. Like if you discard half of uh, the deck of like your opponent should walk Shaman. Yeah, he's not going to be happy. So a very big uh, denial to combo decks. It's a very expensive card. Eight mana to destroy half of your opponent's deck. But uh, well... I mean, there are going to be some very frustrating games for your combo uh, your combo opponents, guys, that are not going to be happy with this. Uh, Immortal Prelate is a uh, new Paladin card. Shovel this into your deck. It keeps any uh, buffs. So, very sick card as well for a Paladin, I think, because they have a lot of buff cards. Uh, we have seen, uh, like, the Quest Paladins, the Galvanon Paladins, trying some stuff, but cards like this are definitely very helpful. You can put draw cards on it. You can put buff cards on it, so... Kind of an, an idea of a Linessa that you can play multiple times. Surrender the Madness deal. Destroy three of your mana crystals. Give all your minions in your deck plus two plus two. So um, a little bit of like a Kaliset. But a little bit of a balanced Kaliset here. <laughs> for the Priest. And then a, a very a, the new Legendary for the Warlock here. Is uh, the Bat. Hyrek the Bat. Fill your board with copies of this minion. Really reminds me a little bit uh, towards... Uh, Alana, what we have for the mage that fills the board with 5 hearts for all, all spells you played. Can be very good. I'm not sure if it's the greatest fit for Warlock as you have so many removal tools that you normally don't want to play go too wide. It doesn't really fit in like a deck that I that we currently have for Warlock. But can be very good if you hand buff this of course. You have Soul Infusion that gives plus 2 plus 2 to your left minion in the hand. If you can put like 2 buffs on this card it's a very strong bomb card. Uh, definitely a card that can win you the game. So it definitely has a 
potential to be there and also spirit of the bed being uh, the spirit for the warlock Stealth for one turn after a friendly minion dies, give a minion in your hand, plus one, plus one. So this card, as you can see, is like two mana, so there is also different cost happening around it. That is what we got out of the announcement, guys. As I said, very excited for this. Uh, always cool to... It always brings a lot of hype in Hearthstone when uh, a new expansion is getting announced. We're gonna get a lot of uh, card re uh, reveals coming in, uh, in the next uh, days or in the next weeks. Maybe we got something here as well for you, but we definitely gonna keep you up uh, to try uh, and keep you updated on what is happening. But in one month, guys, the new expansion will hit. We're gonna get a lot of new cards revealed in the next week. It's gonna be very exciting. I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you do as well. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching.